What's up, everybody? We're going to solve connections for Sunday, February 4, 2024. And I do hope to get you guys the final results from January, probably within a day or two. Sound good? Let's get rid of the directions. Let's just move this down a little bit, get it nice and uh, centered. That looks awesome. And uh, here we go. The timer starts now. We've got coffee, dry, routine, dull, uh, mate, vanilla, twist, tea, set, act, cocoa, bit, up, boring, mundane, and dirty. So I think we're a little bit overloaded, or are we, with the uh, boring category? Actually, no. Oh, yeah, dry. Ouch. Dry could technically work. If something's a bit dry, it's boring. So dry, routine, dull. Yeah, boring and mundane. I had a suspicion that she'd be up to doing some overpopulated categories with crossover because we haven't had those recently. For the past, like, maybe two days, they weren't too bad. So that's slightly unfortunate. These look like flavors. Coffee, vanilla, cocoa, and... Um, hmm... I mean, these look like coffee, vanilla, cocoa, and tea. Um, I mean, I feel like those go together, but what's the connection? Because the coffee, tea, those are obviously getting cocoa, but vanilla is not really a drink. Huh. <laughs> That's my only concern. On the other hand, nothing else is even close, right? Coffee, vanilla, cocoa, and tea. Um, ah, geez, the, the vanilla just annoys me a little bit. Should I guess on this anyway, though? And just call these um, maybe hot drinks? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Well, what am I going to replace the vanilla with? Because that's the one that just doesn't make sense. And maybe it just it's a... Uh, that's just a red herring category. Shoot. Um, mate um, could be a friend. It could be a chess term. I don't really see any other chess terms. Let's shuffle these. Sometimes that helps. Iced tea, iced coffee. Unfortunately, that doesn't really go any further. Maybe mundane, boring... Well, I, maybe I'll re re revisit this. I think those three go together because those would be harder to create a cute little phrase. And then I could guess, I could expend two guesses on the dry and the dull. Let's do dull first and call these um, um, soporific. So now we'll go to dry. Oh, ouch. Okay, so now we're in massive trouble. What is going on here? Um, give me one second, guys. I'm just going to close the door. We're in jeopardy of feeling this thing. Um, and this often happens when I do it too close to a lesson. 
Okay. Let's really try to focus here. What's going on? Um, Twist, bit, a bit, okay, here we go, a bit, an act, okay, I was just on the wrong track, that was sneaky, but you've got your bit, you've got your act, you've got your routine, and you've got your, um, hmm, he's got a routine, he's got an act, he's got a bit, he's got a, Shoot, ah, uh, he's got his. Uh, uh, go ahead and okay. Let's see. Your, you you need to show us your bit, your act, your routine, and it's either twist or set. Um, it would either be twist or set. It's not vanilla. It's not dry tea, coffee. It's not your meat, your dirty, dull, mundane. Your his up. His twist or his set? Could you do us a favor? Let's show us your, you know, does he have a, he has an interesting twist. Ah, shoot. The thing is that, like, ah, that's a hard decision to make. And I, the thing is I would easily guess the two, but I only have one guess left. But that's definitely a category. It's just what do you call it? He's, he's got an interesting set or he's got an interesting twist, like his take on it, his bit. Let's go with twist. Now, it was, um... Drinks with caffeine, unexciting, comedian's performance, and martini specifications. That's pretty unfortunate. Um, just can't, I shouldn't be doing these puzzles when, you know, somebody's coming in a couple minutes. That's too bad. So drinks with caffeine, here's the deal. Um, I don't think I would have, I, I would have had trouble with that because of the mate. I, I don't know what a mate is as a drink. Um, and I think I would have overlooked the cocoa. Because I really don't think of like <laughs> cocoa as having a ton of caffeine. Now, unexciting. Oh my gosh, that's whoa! That is a oh god. I of course I've heard of the usage of vanilla in that sense, but I completely overlooked that. Wow, that that is really really tough. Then the comedian's performance. Um, it's a set. I don't know why I said twist. I just think I was thinking of it like his spin on it. And the funny thing is, I, I actually think I might have ended up getting the martini specifications. Um, maybe, I don't know if I would have said martini, but maybe drink, because I definitely saw the dirty, and that reminded me of when we had a dirty martini category. It was like dirty martini, dirty dozen, and dirty was the secret word. Um, and I know that you can order your drink dry, and you can have a twist. I'm not really sure what the up would mean. Well, that just wasn't meant to happen, guys. So that's kind of funny. We went from... Uh, we went from a 10 to a zero um, in just one day. My student is here. Hope you guys enjoyed the fail from art. And yes, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully for a comeback. Goodbye.